hey guys welcome back to the channel so in our last video we started this boathouse model and we created the base and the block out for this house and today we are going to add some details like these windows and the door and this roof so first i'm going to start with the block out for the windows and for that i'm going to take a multi cut or insert edge loop tool and add one edge here like this and again let's take multi cut and add one in the center or just to be precise what you can do is you can select this edge then split it it will add a segment in the middle and bevel to create this section and i'm going to drag this down a little bit all right so this looks good now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this face and this one press ctrl e and intrude like this and then extract i'm going to select this modify center pivot go to edge mode select this then split and bevel and repeat the same thing for this bevel so select this face and extract again select this frame and uh, modify center pivot then extrude like this keep it seven or something like that bring it out just a little bit and for this what i'm going to do is I'm going to create these panels so first of all uh, let's add these details on the side so select these faces on the side and uh, extrude a little bit and as for this again split the edges and bevel and extract this face hide this face for now select this modify center pivot and uh, let's extrude it add some thickness 3 or 4 should be fine and uh, go to edge mode select this edge then split do the same for this one and now select both of them then bevel again select all four edges and bevel again just a little bit of fraction and one more time on the side To create this detail so what we are going to do is we are going to go to face mode select this face and this face then bridge and 
repeat on this side press g to repeat the command and uh, for this one i think we need to delete these edges first now select this then split repeat the same thing with this and these two so to repeat the command the shortcut is g and let's select all these edges and uh, bevel and now let's bridge all these faces so select this and this bridge and these ones i think we are good to go so to check if everything is properly bridged select a vertex and try to move it around and i think it looks good so we are good to go you can probably just move it a little bit to the sides so that it matches with the reference and let's bring back your plane modify center pivot like this so it will work as a glass so you can add a little bit of thickness if you want like this you can assign a new material for now so that it look like a glass and maybe a little bit transparent So I think we are good here. So what we can do is we can select this whole thing and then we can create a duplicate and place it on this side then align the vertices according to this measurement. So let's go to the outliner and uh, locate where this is. Now select all these and uh, let's group it. Name it as window and modify center pivot create a duplicate then rotate place on this side and just align here place it in the center so what we can do is we can select this or select this whole thing and uh, go to vertex mode and let's align this side first i'm going to hide these for now select only this vertex mode place them like this all right so this looks fine and now we can bring back this again go to left view place it up like this go to vertex mode in the wireframe mode move them like this and again vertex mode pull these up
like this bring it out just a little bit and let's unhide that plane pull this up as well go to vertex mode select the vertices press v to snap them to the points and just snap them to align like this and i think this looks fine so we are good to go so both windows are done and now we can work on the other things such as these windows on the top the pipe and the roof so what you can do is you can create two holes like this you can use these two segments and then copy this and place this on the top if you want to create a window on the top so i think i'm going to skip that it's a lot of repetitive process so you get the idea you can just use this one and place it on the top so let's uh, start working on the roof and for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to face mode and select all these faces i'm going to duplicate select the plane go to modify center pivot edge mode and delete all the edges and i'm going to extrude add some thickness like this change it to component mode and scale just a little bit not too much and for this uh, metallic roofing what you can do is you can again duplicate this face let's select these two edges first and i'm going to delete So go to face mode select this and uh, duplicate again modify center pivot select all these and extrude or what you can do is you can uh, press shift and then extrude like this and pull these down select all these and bevel just a little bit like this and for this detail i'm going to select this edge then use connect tool and add maybe five and then bevel like this go to face mode and select all these faces and extrude add a little bit of offset like this go to face mode select this face then select similar if it works if it doesn't then manually select everything so i'm going to select all the faces on these corners like this of these extruded shapes and delete so pretty much everything is done now we just need to model the door and this pipe 
so for this pipe what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this and uh, or we can use uh another cylinder for this so let's take another cylinder and change the radius Full top view, place it here like this. Pull this up. So I'm going to go to face mode and select these faces. Select similar and remove them just keep the bottom face selected and i'm going to extrude them like this select this edge ring mesh display and soften edge and place this down here like this or what you can do is you can go to face mode again select these faces pull them down a little bit more and then place it like this now select the faces on the top extrude then scale to create the shape then extrude one more time and then scale again like this So we are done with this now we only have left this door so for the door we created the frame now let's select this face and now we are going to model the door so what we need to do is we are going to add some segments like this and bevel just get this basic shape now select this turn off key faces together offset then intrude with a little bit of offset and then extrude and again add some offset and for these windows what you can do is select this then add an edge loop and the bevel same thing here like this select these faces and extract I'm going to combine these so 
so our door is also done let's model this door knob and for that i'm going to take a spear pull this up rotate it place it here maybe something like this go top view select these faces delete select the edges and uh, add a little bit offset and extrude like this to create the door knob and merge now i'm going to select this go to mesh display and set it to soften and harden edges maybe it's a little bit bigger for this door so i'm going to scale it down like this and i'm going to make few adjustment for this so what i'm going to do is so for this door i'm going to isolate it and i'm going to extrude it a little bit like this and then reverse the normals and our model is done make some changes for this so i'm going to select these vertices and pull them up like this and also i'm going to delete all these faces I think I'll keep this window only in two parts. So let's select these edges and delete. and i think we are done so that's it our door is done and we modeled pretty much all the other details so that's it and i think i'm gonna leave this video here and in the next one we will probably unwrap this so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new you can also follow me on the instagram and join my discord server all the links will be in the description of this video and all the other videos i post on this channel 
in the next one we are going to unwrap all this then texture it in substance painter so don't forget to watch all those videos as well and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching